Washington football fans. So the game today. All right, I don't think anybody expected us to beat Kansas City. But again, you know, kind of like how it was last week against the Saints. It was a very winnable game and today was no exception. Today was a very winnable game for the Washington football team. They were even leading in the game at one point and honestly, they had every opportunity to win this football game. This football game was not out of reach until that back-breaking uh, touchdown that kind of led to, well, you know, it was the touchdown when the Kansas City Chiefs went up 24-13. to And I knew at that point, and I even said such uh, on my Twitter, that was pretty much the nail in the coffin. And I think that touchdown came in the third quarter. And you know, in the past, you would say, what are you talking about? You still have like one quarter left to go. That's not an insurmountable lead. And that is normally true for any other team, but we're talking about the Washington football team, right? Defense has not played well. And here's the thing with the defense. I continue to complain about the tackling. The tackling is, I can't even call it subpar because that would be a compliment to the tackling. The tackling has been atrocious. It's been horrible. The secondary tackling, that's the biggest point. But now, I mean, everybody has struggled to, to make good tackles, but the tackling has just been horrible. And we saw it today. There were many plays, many plays where the football team had the Chiefs stopped for no gain or for a loss. And because of poor tackling, the Chiefs wound up getting a first down and you know gaining like seven extra yards. I mean, it was just it was pitiful, it was pathetic. And certainly, if I have to name names, I would, I would, I would definitely say I have not been happy with uh, William Jackson III. I think he's been a horrible pickup for us. I think we had better play out of uh, guys like Jimmy Moreland, and I know that Jimmy is uh, more of a uh, probably a safety, but still, uh, we had better play out of guys like that. And, I mean, honestly, Jackson is just, he's, he's been horrible. You know, he's gotten called for PIs almost every single game. I, this might have been the first game he did not get called for a PI, but he has been burnt I don't know how many times. And every single game he has gotten burnt. And uh, <laughs> that certainly burns me up, and it should you as well. Uh, I could go on. I mean, just the simple fact, the the defense, you know, I think the front four is starting to improve. They're starting to do more, well, they're starting to do more things right. They're starting to get a little more pressure to the quarterback. They definitely pressured Mahomes today, and that, that is one thing that you have to do if you're going to beat Patrick Mahomes is to pressure him get to them, sack them, but I think they only had maybe one or two sacks in this game against uh, Mahomes. They did pressure him a lot. They did knock him down several times, but you got to keep coming after Mahomes. You can't let up. But the thing is, is even when the front four is doing their part and starting to improve, the rest of the defense is not catching up. The secondary continues to give up big plays, and they've done it week in and week out. They've continued to show a, a lack of um, just quality in tackling. That one tackle that Fuller had, where he wrapped up the player, uh, thrown him for a loss, that's great. You should be doing that on every single play. It's textbook textbook tackling. Let me take some of you guys back to 
the glory years for a little bit. Back in the 80s and very early 90s, when the, the Redskins were still you know, Super Bowl champions, elite teams year in and year out, it's one thing that stood out to me, especially if you watched their last Super Bowl, is the tackling was textbook. They didn't always go for the big hit. They went for wrapping the ball player up and getting him to the ground. It wasn't always the sexiest thing you saw either. You know, sometimes it was just, you know, it was just kind of like a mundane type of um, a play, but yet they they did their jobs. And that's one thing that Ron Rivera has always talked about is, you know, the players have to do their jobs. And part of that is you've got to tackle. And you've got to do it textbook style. You can't be going for the, you know, the ESPN highlight reel hit because more times than not, you're going to look like the idiot. You're, you're going to come out on the losing end of that because these players can take a hit. You need to wrap them up and get them down to the ground. And that has not been happening. And because of that, opposing offenses have been able to sustain drives. Plenty of times where it looked like the football team had the other team stopped. Too many times they miss tackles, they allow second chance effort, and then they allow the other team to get the first down, and eventually they allow the other team to score. And that's what happened today. Now we knew that Patrick Mahomes was going to get his, but you know we pressured Mahomes, we intercepted him a couple of times. I mean, you know we we did a lot of good things in this game. Now, this game wasn't completely bad because I mean, like I said football team was winning at one point and they had an opportunity to extend that lead but the offense can't stay consistent either and many fans talking about Taylor Heineke now and many fans felt that this was not a good game for him and many fans felt that last game was not a very good game so are we starting to see Taylor Heineke declining and starting to be more of you know what you expect out of somebody who was undrafted you know, someone who has just not really had much of a chance up until this point in the NFL I don't want to be too hard on the guy he's got a great story but you know when it comes down to it I, I don't know I don't believe that he is the second coming of Kurt Warner okay I think he is a solid number two quarterback. And I would hope that whenever the football team finally does get their franchise quarterback, that they would consider keeping Heineke there as a solid backup. I mean, he does some good things right, and he doesn't get rattled, and he does make plays. I just don't think he can be consistent enough to maintain that. You've got to have a high level of progress, um, consistency, to be a successful, successful quarterback in the NFL. You know, there were many a plays where Heineke did the right thing, where he was smart, made the right play made the right throws and then there were times where he did he didn't so you know it, it's kind of 50 50 with Taylor Heineke so you know I can't say that I feel like Heineke is going to be our starter forever I really honestly think that once Ryan Fitzpatrick comes back from his injury he'll probably he'll probably be back in playing at some point I really feel like that. And I feel like that Cal Allen will be playing at some point in this year. So that tells you 
what I kind of feel about Taylor Heineke as far as my confidence in him. I love the guy. He's got a great story. I just don't see him as a second coming of Kurt Warner. I've said that before. You know, finally, Ron Rivera and company, I mean, I can't say that this loss fell on the coaches. You know, it comes down to execution. Execution on the field. Now, depending on your, your viewpoint, you can say, well, you know, if the player's not executing, it's, it's the coach's fault because they're not coaching them right. But you can also say the players are not executing on the field because they're not responding to the, the coaching. They're not grasping what the coaches are trying to teach them. And it could be a little bit of both. I don't know. I, I just, uh, I don't think, I still don't think we have the right players. I don't. I think we're, well, how can I put this? I think we're still further away from being one of the best teams in the league or being just a good team in the league than what we initially thought because of what happened last year when in the NFC East. So, that being said, I'm still backing Ron Rivera 110%. A lot of fans have jumped off the bandwagon already, and that is definitely your right and your opinion. My opinion is Ron Rivera is still going to right this ship. He is still going to turn this team around. He just doesn't have the right players yet. Maybe, hopefully, if he allows Mark Mayhew and Marty Herney to, you know, take over more of the uh, player acquisitions and let Ron Rivera do more of the coaching, or well, let him do all the coaching, and much less of player acquisition himself, that may be what needs to happen. You know, I think uh, Ron Rivera has, well, he has a lot of power, and he he certainly had all of the power, I think, when it came to picking the players he wants. But at some point, you know, Ron Rivera, you know, he's got to say he's hired GMs to handle all that stuff, and that's what they need to do. And Ron Rivera was hired to be a head coach. That's what he needs to do. And I think when Ron Rivera does have the right players in there, I fully expect this team to be a perennial playoff team year in and year out, if not a team that eventually gets back to the Super Bowl. I have those high hopes for Ron Rivera. I'm probably in the minority right now. That, that is just fine. I don't mind being in the minority. But I'll end this video with saying that I'm not giving up yet. We are 2-4. Two 2-4 and four. Two and four for, what is it, the, the third third or fourth season in a row. It is what it is, man. We are a 2-4 and four team right now. But I'm not giving up on Ron Rivera. I don't expect the football team to go to the playoffs this year, obviously. I think the division, unfortunately, is Dallas's for the taking. But next year, I think we're going to get there. This year, it's more of a continua continuation of player evaluation and just you know, continuing to try to find the right players. Okay? That's all I have to say in this video. So, guys, uh, hang in there. We're going to get there eventually. Help to the Washington football team. Let's go Maniacs. And I'm driving home. Take care.